What's up, Sakpase y que tal, mis amigos? Welcome back. We are on episode four of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. We have uh, missed a couple of days of dropping the recaps of the video, but like I said, we're back and we're better with the setup, with the sound, with everything all around. So let's just dive right into it. Enjoy your day off. Enjoy your day off. Hey, yo. So right off the bat, we see things are starting to change pace because usually at the top of most episodes, they got their new mission. But at the top of this episode, they told us to enjoy your day off. So let's see if they gonna be uh, tricked into actually getting some action or if this gonna be like a slice of life anime episode where they have the filler beach, you know what I'm saying, saga, but we'll see. Yeah. What is happening? Does he recognize somebody? Rooney. First of all, I don't know about you, but as I'm watching this episode, I'm noticing how unprofessional Don John happens to be because first of all, he kept in contact with his mother, which was a no-no on the list. Second of all, he out here shouting out people that he recognized in the street like, yo, Rune. But at the same time, isn't he supposed to be incognito, like witness protection? You're not who you were before you signed up. So all this Rune, he's supposed to stay low key. Maybe he's trying to hide and play something. But all I know is uh, Maya Jane is not going to be too happy with this. That's that's I mean, that's how I feel. I'm not happy with it. And I'm just on the outside watching. Oh. I'm getting some weird vibes from these people. First of all, I think the only saving grace is the fact that uh, that kid is there and he introduced her as his wife. But outside of those two saving little factors, this whole interaction is pretty sus. Uh-huh. I already know. She is waiting to ask... Um, how many other connections are you still in connection with? Because we supposed to cut off everything and you over here being Mr. Socialite. Also in the previous episode, she uh, expressed that she's not a real like chill and conversate with randoms type of person. So that on top of the fact that he's breaking the rules again, I can't see that going too well, to be honest. Oh, but she has one hand. Um, I don't know if I'm as bad as Don John or if this is a trick or if I need to rewind to see, but she's talking about she has one hand. Did you catch that? Cause I didn't. We was paying attention to either the son or the mom's face or the fact that she had her midriff showing, she had the belly out. Did she really have one hand? I gotta go back and see, hold on. Okay, there goes, she has her right hand. Oh my gosh, she really does have one hand. It's wrapped in a cloth. Listen, I heard about somebody like that IRL at a barbershop. I was getting my cut and he was telling me how there was this girl that he was messing with and he never noticed that she had one hand until they went to be intimate. He said he went out with her. They've uh, ate together. They've done so many things. And then when he finally took her to the crib, she was like, I'm glad you haven't like, you know, said anything about the hand. And he was like, what are you talking about? And she pulled it out and he was like, yo, you got one hand. And I asked him, how come he never noticed? And he was like, I don't know. She kept it in her purse all the time. It just looked like it was in her pocket all the time. I never noticed. And I was like, bro, why wouldn't you pay attention to something like that? But now I feel him because I just fell for the same thing. Wait, did you guys have Yes, I mean, that was, that's like all we did. It was the basis of our relationship. Okay. Yo, I can't be mad at dude, except for this next part. I'm like, I'm wondering now, because before I would have said, I definitely noticed if somebody don't have another hand. But right now I'm kind of like, would I notice? I mean, I like to get real. This is for John, John Smith. Yeah, I know what you said. I'm John. That my drink? Lean green machine. Are they meeting other John Smiths now? Or is there only one John Smith at a time? Or is this a ploy to see if they can jump into action even though they was told they was getting the day off? I got so many conspiracy theories going in my head right now. The whole time, it could just be another John because John Smith is technically the, the cold name because of how common and like regular it is. So 
you could easily find another John Smith. But then again, this is a show about espionage and, and that type of thing. So I doubt that they would just introduce another John Smith and make it be coincidence. Unless this is just to add uh, paranoia to Don John's name. And this other John Smith is literally just another John Smith. Oh my God. It's supposed to be a day off and I'm still reeling. Oh, no, 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 you don't have to. No, 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 what do you want? I'll get yours and another one of these. An OJ? Oh, so his name is literally John Smith. And he's being so nice to our Don John Smith. I don't trust this dude, but also free OJ. <laughs> okay. I think there's. Hey, what's up? Hi. And this must be your Jane. Man, she's a cutie. We got lucky. <laughs> what? Thanks. Yeah. Listen, I'm weirded out, first of all, that there's another John Smith that just happens to be in the same location as you, and you're supposed to be incognito. Wouldn't that race flags? So that must mean he's there for a reason, and it's not accidental. Secondly, he casually admitted to this guy, just because his name is John Smith, that he's also a John Smith based on what kind of job, and the dude is just casually giving him tips like an OG. Bro, and then you're gonna be telling some, oh, so this your Jane? <laughs> My, you know what I'm saying? You got lucky with a cute Jane. Not all Janes be this cute, you heard? And I'm like, bro, back off. I need you to back off, okay? Back off. Have you met other Smiths before? Yeah, I've met a few in my day out in the wild, but this is the first time it happened by accident. Oh, really? Wow. Accident? <laughs> I know. Me personally? I don't trust this dude. Right, you don't know <laughs> where you live. And he shouldn't know where you live. He just got a phone call and his phone call told him whatever mission he's supposed to do. Then all of a sudden he's like, let's have dinner tonight. Don't y'all remember when y'all usually get certain phone calls or text messages from the boss? Eventually there's something that y'all have to do that's either tail or kill somebody. And y'all just casually so excited to have somebody else that knows what y'all doing, that y'all not only letting them know where you live, you inviting him over. Maybe I'm just distrustful, cause I'm like, don't do it. I'm eating a popcorn, looking at the screen like, don't do it, run, run. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, he's chefing it up, he's chefing it up. Yeah, ooh. Okay, they really trying to show out for these guests. They either really happy they having somebody over or they're also planning their own thing. But I don't think it's the latter. I just, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping they're not caught blindsided, but um, it's about to go down either way. Okay, hello, hello. Oh, they're huggers. Yeah. I'm just thinking what could go wrong. I've been primed by the first few episodes that something always goes wrong with, with, with this couple and everything that's going on. Do you think that uh, John and Jane Smith are going to attack Don John and Maya Jane Smith? Enjoy. One word. One word. No cryptic message. Wait. Any. What if, because he said it came from the boss, he's handing it to them, they're going to take a sip, what if they're about to get poisoned? I'm like, after you, of course. But then what if they have the antidote? I'm just so paranoid right now. This, this interaction wouldn't have even happened because I would think too many coincidences have lined up to get to where we are now. I wouldn't be able to go through with it. I'd be like, yo, <laughs> listen, nice to meet you. I'm glad we have the same name, but that's where it ends. You feel me? Classic. <laughs> I don't know why she's showing her all of these things. It's bothering me so much that they just freely giving them a tour of the house, showing them the panic room, showing them the location of the gun, showing them where they keep bodies, showing them everything. And I'm thinking there's like gotta be some type of misunderstanding where they think they're working for the same company, but they really not. Maybe they're working for opposite company and they just mention a lot of similarities and now they think they work together as their coworkers, but really they're rivals. What if the people were sent to go spy on them and just get information just to see how much information they're willing to give and they just giving it up, just giving it up. 
Sometimes you just gotta have a little bit more decorum. Less is more. We got better since then. Better at what? I've swapped my whole flow, okay? So at first, I was like, they coming over to poison them. They coming over to, to kill them. They coming over as something crazy. But what if, and just, just, just hear me out. What if they come in for an orgy? <laughs> So they told them that the rule or the agreement they made was that they were going to make a certain amount of money and then they will part ways. Homie starts laughing. Homegirl is cackling. And I'm thinking there's only one way out of the company. Yo, I thought there was going to be a bullet that was going to come after one of the sneezes. And then also, why would you sneeze in the direction of somebody? Has anybody ever sneezed in your direction? You know you're supposed to turn the other way. I don't care if you got a hand blocking it because that's not enough. If anything, and you have to face somebody because you're surrounded or whatever the case may be, use the whole thing. Like, there's no reason for you to be like, hot you covering one nostril like my boy that is unacceptable yo hopping on a random plane in the middle of the night with some niggas that is off the 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 <laughs> kilter not knowing if you have a mission yours because this day mission so off the record y'all just happen to be tagging along but that's on y'all own free time so imagine they get a mission early in the morning it's like go do something else and they're not home because they over here flying around with the other John and Jane, not knowing even where they're headed, not getting no answer. I, it, it might be me personally, because like, here's the thing. I hate not knowing stuff like that I'm involved in. So like I be needing answers. So it drive me crazy for them to just be given like, like, oh, here's part of the answer. Oh yeah, we're going to be doing this thing. Don't worry about it. Just come with. And not me not knowing what my involvement is, that would drive me totally insane. Make sure you leave the back when you land. The guys. Are you guys not coming with us? No. 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 Oh, hell no. Nah. Uh, a uh, hell nah. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Y'all shouldn't even be here. Y'all shouldn't even be here. Y'all yeah, yeah, got bamboozled y'all got <laughs> fooled y'all got um taken advantage of you're a victim y'all are some victims you're supposed to be super secret agents and y'all just got swindled by people who happen to might know what you do for a living and that just like y'all just do caution to the wind excited that they might be doing some drugs downstairs and that's who you got in a car with who was swerving on the road and that's who you were going to get on a plane with but now they're leaving you on the plane by yourself you're a victim drop me off circle no 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 i'm where you're at there's no need to drop me off anywhere there is not one need to drop me off and circle back. There's not one need for you to go get fuel. I'll come with you. I'll come with you. Once you drop me off, I'll wait. I'll put the packages on the floor and then we'll go get gas together. There's no reason for me to get left behind. Whatever happens, I love you. Love? love so now y'all niggas in love is it because it's life and death or is there something y'all gonna need to talk about once y'all get home if y'all get home you feel what i'm saying yeah for a rat what? eminem opened up a restaurant called mom's spaghetti bro listen these dudes just had to go kill somebody with a machete in the middle of the woods the people that didn't expect them don't even know if that's on mission or not and they're reporting it or letting the other John, the other Smiths know. And them niggas is so unbothered, it's annoying. <laughs> like, them dudes is talking about some, uh, guess what I heard? Eminem opened up a restaurant called Mom's Spaghetti. And they're like, bro, we still have guts and blood on us. We do not care about that right now. Yo, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you fell you for it. You, you fell for it is crazy. You know what's even crazier is uh, he went and looked on Instagram or social media that they have in this world to see 
And he had to look through a couple pictures because she hides that hand quite a bit. But once he found a picture of her hands, both hands were there. And it turns out that she was playing this whole time. But I rewinded and I saw that you really couldn't see the hand. It was like in a stump. But they was trying to play tricks on us this whole time. Mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. Yeah, you did too. Facts. Yeah, but we were about to die. Bro, so you telling me that you brought up the fact that I said it, even though you're saying you was about to die, that's why you said it. But I was about to die, so that's why I said it. So why are you bringing it up if you think it don't count? If yours don't count, then mine don't have to count. And if mine has to count, then yours has to, too. So you didn't mean it? Mm hmm No, I do. You do what? God, don't make her say it. I love you. No, nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's how you get killed. <laughs> you do know y'all both have murdered people before. <laughs> nah, that's wild. But it's it's good to know that they both love each other. Yeah, that was wild. For an episode that was meant to be the vacation beach episode in the anime filler universe, that, that was wild. That was a lot of killing for an episode that was supposed to be their day off. But yeah, that was episode four of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm sorry I took a break because this is interesting. And I will see y'all on the next episode. Ciao. Uh I've been up since like 3 a.m. I don't hear the hate, what y'all say ain't in. All I know is go, all I know is grind. I'm on your head, so all I know is climb, just know I'm different. If I see the targets, just know I'm gonna hit it. I don't know the fake, just know I live it. Anything I say, just know I'm in it. I know the ops and they lightweight. I'm in the zone and I might stay. Yeah, I'm on in the right way. Check the scoreboard, look why I play. They say sky the limit, that's too low for us. We showing up in the nosebleeds of the galaxy. When you think it's great, look, it's actually me. Yeah, it's actually me.